<laughs> hey guys, this is M LeBlanc 168 here with the start of a brand new Let's Play. I'd like to welcome you all to Let's Play the Unreal World RPG. The Unreal World RPG is a survival roguelike by Sammy Marainen. His name is right there. Oh, I hope my mouse is recording. Uh, bottom bar. And it's made by Enormous Elk Productions. Um, uh, this is a Finnish game where you play a guy in the Finnish Iron Age, I believe, as he tries to survive against things like hunger, cold, thirst, um, um, cold, I think I said cold, bandits, and like it's really realistic. Uh, the only other game I could compare to it that I've played is like Haven and Hearth, but this is a bit more realistic than Haven and Hearth, but they are really similar, similar games. And, uh, the graphics might not be the best, it is a roguelike, but it's an awesome game that I found a while ago, and, um, I've been having a lot of fun with it. So, we're gonna create a new character. We're gonna do it custom. Oh! You might find that I sound a bit different. I have a new microphone! It's a headset mic. So I'm going to test this out for a couple videos, make sure it's right, make sure you can hear the game sound, because I still have to record the game sound off speaker, um, but just making sure that's right. So character name, we will be M... M... LeBlanc. Doesn't like that name. Uh, uh, just plain LeBlanc? There we go. So that's our name, we're going to be LeBlanc. Now we have to pick our culture. In this game there are nine cultures. Uh, I think at the beginning, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they start with different skill bonuses, like the, um, Camu Lo th these people, that I can't pronounce their names, Cam, Keumo Lanen, Lanen, they get more strength, the Owl Tribe start with more, um, survival skill, the Islanders have better fishing, I'm gonna be an Owl Tribe, cause I like having the bonus to survival at the beginning, which I think they get, so there, uh, we're gonna be... I could be a chick. I've never played a chick. Uh, I think the difference is only aesthetic. So, be a chick. Now we have to pick our face. Our womanly face. Uh, we can be puffball girl hat, scarf, turtleneck thing, um, black robe woman, white robe woman. Pretty sure they're the same person. Insane crazy person. Uh, let's actually see if I can change that. Yeah, we're gonna be a dude now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The women portraits suck. Uh, we can be guy with the puffy hat. Guy with the black hair. We can. <laughs> we can be that thing. Uh, we could be this guy. Necromancer. Or guy with the black hat. I'm gonna be. Boom. Let's be guy with the black hat. I think he looks semi-normal. Now we get to pick which season we started. Summer is the easiest. There's berries you can pick for food. The rivers are not frozen. Um, and there's no threat of cold. Winter's the hardest. You have to contend with frozen lakes, uh, a lack of hunting, and cold. But I'm going to start in spring because it'll give me the most time to prepare for winter. So, spring. 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 Uh, now we get to roll our character. Uh, there's the personality. Uh, it's not showing. It does this sometimes. Which is intelligence, will, and psyche. And psyche is what what we're afraid of. And then there's our um, standard stats like strength, endurance, dexterity, agility, speed. This is a bit loud. Hold on. Uh, strength, endurance, dexterity, agility, speed, eyesight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Those are our senses. Uh, we're gonna want a high, ad uh, this is good, except for hemophobia. Hemophobia will mean we'll die, not die, uh, pass out if we see blood, like freak out if we see blood, and there's gonna be a lot of blood. <laughs> so, re-roll. That is a good roll, I like that roll. We're nice and smart, we're, I'm keeping, this is an amazing roll. We're really strong, we have a lot of endurance, we have a decent amount of dexterity, we're good on agility, which, um, controls our dodge skill. We have decent speed, decent eyesight, amazing, s and all of our senses are amazing. So we will be this prodigy. We are, um, five feet tall, I think, yeah, five feet tall, uh, and we weigh a hundred pounds. We have a small stature. 
So I'm fine with that. And we're afraid of horses. So if we see a horse, we're going to faint. But we don't need horses. Now these are rituals that we start the game with. Um, we start the game with these rituals and other ways to communicate with the spirits uh, and the other world. You'll learn more during your life. Uh, so we get, I, I think we get more in our lifetime. Uh, what we can do is we can chant these um, and they'll give us bonuses. Hunter's request to catch a fox will allow us to catch foxes who have very valuable furs. Um, I think they, I think this one takes a sacrifice, and the Oath of Iron is probably the most um, beneficial ritual in the game. It allows you to enchant a weapon to make it more useful, which we'll be doing a lot of early in the game. So, we can't alter this at all, so I'm fine with that. Now, like in, the game, like in games like Fallout, we get to um, augment our skills with extra points. As you can see, we have nothing in shield, nothing in sword, nothing in tracking, and swimming. Um... We are really good at dodging, because that's because of our high agility. We are good at foraging, at weather lore, and we have a great survival score. So what we're going to do is we're going to bump up physician, which is helped by our intelligence. Um, that helps you heal yourself. We're going to bump up survival, which is crucial for things like... Um, actually, I'm just going to go through them all. Agriculture is planting farms. We don't need that yet. Uh, physician is healing yourself if you get wounded. Cookery is cooking. Uh, we don't need to have a great cookery score. It'll develop over time because we'll be doing a lot of cooking. Ritual determines how well you do the rituals um, and how effective they are. Survival controls things like starting a fire, uh, cutting trees off, building a shelter. Timbercraft is cutting trees down. I think that's it. Fishing is fishing, which is really important, but we're not going to add to it, I don't think. Not sure what weather lore does. Carpentry is building houses and um, other wooden goods, but mainly houses. Foraging is picking and finding berries, which we won't see many of yet. Hide working is uh, manipulating furs for sale. Tracking is following animals. Trapping is building traps. Building is building houses. Okay, carpentry is something different. Climbing is climbing into trees. Uh, skiing. In the winter, you can ski around. We really don't need that. Swimming is swimming in water, which might be important, but we will probably have a boat. The dodge skill is tied directly to our agility, and it's how well we dodge attacks. And the weapons are all kind of self-explanatory. So we have two. We have physician survival. We have three more to augment. Uh, I'll do tra tracking, because tracking helps, and we need it to find animals. And we have zero right now, so that brought us up to 16. I will do climbing, because uh, climbing a tree to search the area for animals really helps. And we should have a combat skill, uh, so we can defend ourselves. Uh, bows are probably the most useful in the game, but we're going to start out using a lot of spears, so I'm going to select spear. So now we have all our uh, skills augmented. I'll press any key to continue. And now it will randomly generate our world. Um, all the worlds kind of look the same, just with different towns and lakes in them, as you can see. Um, so this is our world. You can see there's like streaks of snow. That brown blot right there in the center-ish is where we start. Uh, these are the different tribes. You can read which ones they are there. Uh, the pink people are the Najera... I can't pronounce their names. They are bandits. Um... If they see you, they will kill you. We don't want to spawn there. But I really don't get to control how I'm going to spawn this game. Um, I'm going to close my eyes right now, and I'm going to hit randomize, R, five times, and then I'm going to start it. I'm going to count to five, and um, I'm going to open them. So I'll have no idea where I spawn, so I won't be able to try to navigate down to the islands here, which are the most useful area in the game. So, my eyes are closed. One, two, three, four, five, start. Now I'm going to count to five. And I have no idea where I am. I won't go back and watch this video to find out. I just have no idea. So now we get to pick which scenario we start in. Um, I'm not going to read them to you. You guys can read them. Uh, the hardest is uh, Hurt, Helpless, and Afraid, where you spawn the game in the middle of the wilderness with a random injury. It's even harder if you start in winter because you had to deal with your injury and the cold. Um, the easiest is by far I want to be a fisherman because you start with like a boat and... Uh, fishing rod, so you're pretty much set for food for the entire game. We're going to do the Unreal World, 
which is where you just spawn randomly in the world. Um, it's n the most unguided of them all, and it'll just give us a chance to kind of do anything, so it's my favorite. Um, I'll read this to you. <coughs> At the age of 16, you've left your home and village. During your childhood and adolescence years, you have learnt the skills and ways of your people until you decide it was time for you to go search for a path of your own, whatever it might be. Your journey took you far away, and the further you went, the more you learned. Even though much had passed on from your father to you, there would be many things that you must learn on your own. The lore of your people would help you, and so would the equipment and supplies you had gotten from your family. But still, feelings of insecurity seemed to bother you from time to time. One morning, you stood still for a long time and listened to the, to the wilderness humming around you. Last night, you had woken up to the sound of wolves howling at the moon. After that, you had traveled a long time in the dark. That wasn't a good idea at all, you thought, standing in the middle of a totally strange and unknown area. Just as you felt over the past few days, you didn't know what you were doing or where you were headed. Your past was taking you somewhere, but exactly where was still to become clear to you. So yeah, see, it's unguided. Um, we can just do whatever we want. We don't start with any special bona fires or um, <laughs> bona fires. That's that's a real word. We don't start with any special bonuses or uh, negatives. So we'll be fine with this one. Yes. Now we get to choose the um game course. The game course is um a series of goals we get. The Unreal World is unguided. You can do whatever. Living in the Wild is a tutorial where the game will have you do things like go get water, build a shelter, uh, make a fire, just basic things. And Advanced Adventures um, is a series of challenges for experienced players, things like hunt a bear, uh, kill a Niger as a, a bandit. That's what I'm going to call them. I'm going to call them the bandits. But um, we're just going to do the Unreal World so we can have a kind of unguided LP experience. So let's start the game with the Unreal World. Press any key to continue. So this is the um, in-game information browser, and this is also where I'm going to end the intro video. Uh, I hope this mic worked out fine for the video, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this LP. So see you next time. Bye.